Okay, so here's another one we're going to look at. I'll just put it in. It'll take a minute or two to fire up the vacuum. Professor Mike Benton recently came across the remains of a dinosaur that was so exquisitely well-preserved that feathers, as well as bones, had fossilised. Incredibly, those feathers can tell us the colour of a dinosaur that lived 125 million years ago. Going back, say, 10 years ago, would you ever have imagined that you would have been able to tell what colour any dinosaurs would have been? No, I mean, I think at that time, I and everybody else would have said that is one of the things we'll, we'll never know. And so if we just focus up, see what we've got here. Using a scanning electron microscope, Mike can find clues about the pigmentation of these ancient fossil feathers. And if we just have a look at this, we're at quite high magnification, that's 9,000 times. Wow. All of these sausage shapes then are melanosomes. And in a living feather, um, they would be full of the chemical melanin, which, which in fact gives the colour. And these sausage-shaped ones are a sure indicator of a particular kind of melanin, uh, which is the one that gives a black or dark brown colour. So in some cases like this, the, the field of view is completely packed with the sausage-shaped ones, so we know this must have been uh, intensely black. Um, if they were more loosely spaced, we would know it was a paler colour, maybe dark brown or even grey. Right. So is it just really the presence or absence of, uh, of the black pigments that you're able to ascertain? Well, the wonderful thing is that there's another form of melanin that gives a ginger colour. And, so, and it is packaged in a different shape of melanosome, not this kind of cigar-shaped or sausage-shaped one, but a spherical one, a little ball. Close it up, get the vacuum going. A sample taken from a different fossil shows what the structures that carry this ginger pigment look like. Oh, well, that's entirely different. This surface looks as though you've taken a melon baller and scooped out lots of little spherical hollows. So what colour would these melanosomes have made? This is definitely ginger. And if you look at a piece of ginger hair from a mammal or a human being, that's what you see also. So was it relatively easy to compare your dinosaur feathers with what's already known about the feathers of living birds to get that comparison, to know what colours you were looking at here? We can put the specimens in one after the other. There's the modern one, there's the fossil. Spot the difference. No difference at all. And who on earth would have thought a dinosaur is, a, is close to a bird? But there we are, you know, it's kind of proved in the skeletons and now, if you like, proved in the um, anatomy of the feathers. Thank you.